This is lesson five, solving multi-step area and perimeter word problems. Before you get started, one more time, look at your learning goal, go ahead and rate yourself, and then after you've rated yourself, please put it in a circle next to lesson five. All right, let's get started. So a rectangular projection screen in the school auditorium is five times as long and five times as wide as the rectangular screen in the library. The screen in the library is four feet long with a perimeter of 14 feet. What is the perimeter of the screen in the auditorium? All right, let's start by drawing a picture of the one in the library. Then we can figure out the auditorium. So I know it is four feet long. All right, four feet down here. And it has a perimeter of, let's see, a perimeter of 14 feet. All right, well I can take the lengths away from that. So I can do four and four is eight. So I can take away the lengths in order to find the widths that I need to work with. So I'm going to need to regroup. Eight from 14 is six. All right, and then remember width is two sides, so I've got to divide six in half. So three and three. So three plus three plus four plus four, that is equal to six. Um, and my perimeter is 14, so all these numbers together equal 14, so I'm good. So perimeter is equal to 14 feet, and that's what I have. So I figured out the library. Now I need to figure out the perimeter of the screen in the auditorium. Well, it is five times as long. So it is five times as long as four. So five times four is equal to 20 feet, okay, because we're in feet here. Five times is wide, so I'm going to do five times my width. So five times three is equal to 15 feet. Now it wants to know the perimeter of the screen or the space around the edges. So to find perimeter, I know that perimeter, let me give myself a little bit more space. Perimeter is equal to 2L plus 2W, should be memorized by now, right guys? So perimeter is equal to 2 times 20, Ooh. 2 times 20 plus 2 times 15. 2 times 2 is 4, add a 0. 2 times 15, well I know 15 plus 15 is 30. Add those together, so my perimeter is 70 feet. And let me check, did I answer the question? I believe I did. What is the perimeter of the screen? Yep, I found the perimeter of the screen in the auditorium. All right, let's do another one. Wyatt's rectangular bedroom has an area of 90 square feet. So let me start by drawing my picture. 90 square feet. The area of his bedroom is nine times that of his rectangular closet. So the area is nine times his closet. If his closet is two feet wide, what is its length? All right, so I know the area of the bedroom is 90, and it's nine times as wide as, or the area is nine times his closet. Okay, so if I know that it's nine times his closet, 90 is equal to nine times the closet, so what times nine is C? Well, sorry, 90 is equal to nine times C, so C times what equals 90? 90 is equal to 9 times 10. So I know the area of the closet is 10 feet. Now it says if the closet is 2 feet wide, I know the area is 10, what is the length? Well, area is equal to length times width. The area is 10. I don't know the length. The width is 2. So 10 times what is equal to 2? Well, 10 times 5 is equal to 2. So the length is equal to 5, and what are we in? We're in feet here. So the length is 5 feet. All right, last one, then it's your turn. The length of a rectangular deck is 4 times its width. OK, 
Okay, so length is equal to 4 times the width. If the deck's perimeter is 30 feet, what is the area? Hmm. All right, let me draw a picture to get started. So I know the perimeter of a rectangular deck is all four sides put together, right? So if I divided the perimeter in half, so perimeter equals 15 plus 15, right? Just 30. This side and this side would have to add up to 15, right? So I need a number that if I multiplied it by 4, I would get the length and they would add up to 15. So L plus W is equal to 15, right? Because L plus L plus W plus W would be equal to 30, all right? So let's think about the numbers that add up to 15. So let's get started. So um, 1 and 14 is equal to 15. But 1 times 4 does not equal 14. So that won't work. What about 2 plus 13? Well, 2 times 4 is not 13, so that won't work. What about 3 plus 12? Well, 3 times 4 is equal to 12. So if my length is 4 times that, it has to be the bigger number. So the length is 12 and the width is 3. So the perimeter here is equal to 30. And then it's asking me, what is the deck's area? Well, area is equal to length times width. So area is equal to 12 times 3. Area is equal to 36. And we're in feet, so square feet. So I have 36 square feet. All right, now it's your turn. So here's the first problem I'd like you to solve. A rectangular poster is three times as long as it is wide. A rectangular banner is five times as long as it is wide. Both the banner and the poster have perimeters of 24 inches. What are the lengths of the widths of the poster and the banner? Grace cut out a rectangular piece of wrapping paper that was two times as long and three times as wide as the box she was wrapping. The box was five inches long and four inches wide. What's the perimeter of the wrapping paper Grace cut? Riley has a rectangular piece of red paper that is four centimeters wide. Its length is twice its width. She glues a rectangular piece of blue paper on top of the red piece measuring three centimeters by seven centimeters. How many square papers of the red paper will be visible on the top? All right, when you're done with those three problems, go ahead and go back to the learning goal and give yourself a four, three, or two, or a one. Okay, we just did multi-step problems, so if you felt you were really successful with that, you could be a four. If you weren't so successful, you're probably a three. Some of you may still be a two if you're still needing help with this. Go ahead and rate yourself and give yourself a triangle around that rating. And I will see you tomorrow. Thank you for your hard work.